coalition of civil society organizations has appealed to Nigerians to embrace and utilize the gift of all ages to help combat ageism and build bridges between generations. The founder of Motivating African Youth Initiative, Ogena Ikuiburi, made the appeal in Abuja while addressing the journalists at the commemoration of International Youth Day on Friday. She lamented that age discrimination has impacted people in ways that prevent them in achieving their full potentials and contributing to the development of their society. She urged Nigerians to leverage on full potentials of all generations, allow everyone to function regardless of their ages and sexes to ensure no one is left behind in the quest for sustainable development in the country. It continues to present a significant yet not sufficiently discussed challenge in fostering collaboration and solidarity across age groups. Now, in Nigeria, there's this common saying that we are the future, right? And that the youths are the leaders of tomorrow. But a lot of young people keep asking, when is the tomorrow? Because a lot of us can't even have access to leadership. Now, you're expected to have over five to 10 years experience before applying for a job but they expect you to not be above 25 years when you're coming for the job. Does it make sense? Not to speak about the many challenges you face as a student, not to talk about the strikes, and so it makes no sense. On this premise, we're saying everything should be allowed to function, you should allow to be great regardless of your age. Ageism is an insane. The Chief Executive Connected Development, Amza Lawa, called for intergenerational solidarity between the youth and the older generation, urging the youth to shun financial inducement and to support candidates that can provide good representation across board in the forthcoming general elections. We must stop the blame game. First, we must stop it, you know, as, as young people, as youth and as older people. You know, no one has it perfect. You know, yes, we've made mistakes, but we should learn from those mistakes and ensure that they do not repeat themselves again. See, 2023 is important in Nigeria's history because it's another phase of transition. We have a government who would hand over power after the elections. But as we go into these elections, we must ensure that the conversation about the election must be informed by issues. Let's debate issues. Let's not debate social vices that uh, makes us not united. See, national cohesion and peace is important because without peace, there will be no sustainable development. You know, there will be no elections if we don't have peace. So for me, today, I'm calling on young people and older people and the youth to say that intergenerational solidarity is first, be patriotic to Nigeria, accepting that, yes, we've all failed in our various ways. Yes, let's take responsibility that we failed. You we need to push for collaboration between the youth and the older generation. Okay, the old, like E.H. Carr says, history leads the wise and drags the fool. All right? Our older generation, they have the experience we youth can leverage to transform our nation, Nigeria. Okay? And the older generation, we um, need to also leverage on the energy of the youth. Okay? Needs to leverage on the energy and the intellect of the youth towards um, solving a lot of these societal um, um, issues we are facing in Nigeria. So for me, I just want to encourage every youth in Nigeria, um, we all need to know that we must take responsibilities, we must take...